previously on a physio named Jonah. So you see, I think we'd all understand a little bit better if you took the time to explain what you do and not just what your job is. <laughs> now this guy is pretty smart. And that is what exactly physiotherapists do. You know, I really appreciate your patience in sharing with us. You made our game slate a lot more fun by giving us so much educational information about your job. Oh, really? Nope, total snooze fest, bro. I still don't know where you work. How is that even relevant? I mean, like, what is your job? What do you do? None of that tells me why you were late. Like, do you work on the other side of town or are you just inconsiderate? Okay, whoa well now. I don't think it's a consideration issue, but I do think that it would be helpful if you gave us a descriptive yet not exhaustive list of where physiotherapists work. I mean, this has become a strangely educational game of poker, but I can do that. Ah, that would be why I'm losing. I thought we were playing Risk. With cards? Yeah, you know, risk all your money when you don't have any cards by playing whatever you got. <laughs> Go fish. <laughs> this guy, am I right? Go ahead and turn those cards. I am this close to a Yahtzee. Hey everybody, you're watching a physio named Jonah. That's this guy. I apologize if my voice sounds a little bit raspy today. I have been laughing way too hard as Nicole and I watched The Ultimatum on Netflix. You have a wild side? Here. Of course I have a wild yeah. side. I like sci-fi books. <laughs> yeah. Today is part three of the What Exactly Is series on physiotherapy. We're gonna talk about where physiotherapists work, which I know sounds like a bit of a weird topic because we don't need a video on where bankers work. It's right in the name, RBC. The truth is that physiotherapists work in a lot of different places within the healthcare field. Today's video, I'll be highlighting where those different places are and doing a quick outline of what physiotherapists do there or what that practice is like for physiotherapists. Roll the intro card. Remember how broad the breakdown of what physiotherapy is, was, was, is? Whiz? Well, it's done that way for a reason. Physiotherapists are healthcare professionals that work in clinics, hospitals, long-term care homes, may work with sports teams, or may even work in people's houses. Yeah, we are everywhere. This makes physio school have to be very broad then in terms of what it approaches because you have to be ready to work in all of these different contexts when you graduate. You have the opportunity to have different placements in most of these different settings within your schooling so that you kind of know where you want to work when you graduate. So let's start with our first location and just where I happen to work because I never talk about myself on this YouTube channel. Let's just switch it up and start with something that I do. This is probably the most stereotypical place that you can think of a physiotherapist working. It's also where I happen to work, but that does not mean I'm predictable. Look at that. Didn't see that coming, did ya? Outpatient clinics are locations where the public can go to receive physiotherapy care or see a physiotherapist. Generally, the injuries treated there are usually bone, joint, muscle, aches and pains, day-to-day -day issues with movement, athletic injuries, standard physiotherapy fare. These clinics are often standalone locations, exist inside of strip malls, or inside of a fitness facility. They are often well-known physio franchises or small businesses that are owned and operated by physiotherapists. Coming out of school, this was definitely the area of practice that I wanted to work. And good news because I still work there and I very much enjoy working in this context. Being a physiotherapist in an outpatient practice generally provides a lot of flexibility in terms of hours, location, treatment style, especially in comparison to our next location. This next one is a big one. I don't know if you've seen a hospital before, but they're pretty big. Inside of that large building is a lot of different floors, units, wards, etc. And physiotherapists work in like most of them. Of course, rehab floors or units are areas where you're going to expect a physiotherapist or rehab professional to work. These are specialized areas where patients from in the hospital or out of the hospital come to receive specialized care. Physiotherapists also work in the stereotypical hospital floor setting as well as on intensive care units. This was absolutely news to me in physio school because before going to physio school, I did not know that physios even worked in hospitals. My eyes were definitely opened though when my first full placement was in an ICU. What this all adds up to though is that if you are in the hospital for more than a day, sometimes even within a day, you may very well cross paths with a physiotherapist. 
going back to where I was talking about outpatient clinics before, where hospitals lack the, I'd say, freedom and flexibility of an outpatient clinic, they more than make up for that in terms of stability and collaborative care for physiotherapists that work there. Hospitals are excellent for being able to work as part of an interdisciplinary team in patient care, as well as exist within a larger structure organization overall. Obviously, this is another large area where physiotherapy is going to have a large role. As we previously established, physiotherapists are excellent in movement and rehabilitation, and as many residents in long-term care homes have issues with movement, this seems like a natural fit. This leads to physiotherapists often being on staff or at least consulted in long-term care homes. Really, anywhere where there's residents that have issues with mobility or difficulties with physical ability is likely going to have some crossover with physiotherapy. This being both the house of the physiotherapist or the house of the patient. In-home physiotherapy or where the physiotherapist comes to the patient's house is available in some cases, generally where there's large mobility issues or things restricting those patients from accessing physiotherapy otherwise. Some physiotherapists offer treatment within their own house as well, turning a small corner of their house into a clinic where they treat patients. This essentially is the same practice as the outpatient clinic we talked about earlier, except instead of going to a clinic to work, you create a small clinic almost in your house and have patients come to you. I'd say that it's more common for physiotherapists to go to their patient's home or do home care physiotherapy, but some people really like hosting, what can you say? This includes fields, gyms, rinks, anywhere that sports happen. Physiotherapists may be a part of the on-field coverage of an event or waiting there in case somebody gets injured or dealing with the post-game, pre-game care of athletes. This is not the most common place I'd say physiotherapists find themselves. However, there are many therapists who do on-field coverage or spend the entirety of their career working with a team. I mean, think about it. The Toronto Maple Leafs need a physiotherapist. I mean, if you're listening, Toronto Maple Leaf staff, I could, I could, I could probably, I could, I mean, I could maybe swing it if you guys. Is your therapy team good right now? Do you, do you need, do you need one? Hold on to your hats. Here comes the exciting stuff. Just teasing you, college and association employees out there. Physiotherapy is a self-regulating profession, which means that we have our own college that regulates our profession or maintains our standards of practice that we have to perform. We also have an association that advocates on behalf of the interests of physiotherapists. Both of these locations have people that work for them and buildings where physiotherapists go to to work. Under the same category, I'll also include legal buildings. Quite often, caseworkers for insurance companies that determine how funding is being allocated may be physiotherapists because they understand the rehab profession. If you made it to this point in the video, thank you guys so much for sticking around and enduring my just came off of sickness voice. I don't know how it sounds on camera, but it seems a little bit raspy to me. If you enjoyed the video, consider hitting that like button or subscribing to the channel. Either way, helps my channel reach more interested viewers like yourself, and I very much appreciate the support, especially as my dog is barking upstairs. Feel free to leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. I'd do my best to get back as quickly as possible and answer every comment as they come in. But most importantly though, guys, as always, move your body, have a laugh today, and I will see you at the next video. How many times do I have to tell you guys we are playing poker? Poker. Got the poker cards, not the right cards. You think this is Yahtzee? I don't see any dice. All right. Wait. Party's over. Stella needs her stuffed animals to go to bed. All right, you heard the lady. Let's go. Let's go.